hello students hope all is well from your side and you have practiced all the questions which we have discussed in the last class and today we will continue the same exercise exercise 5.3 now see we have solved questions up to question number 2 and today we will start our question number 3 in the in this question you have to see in an ap given a is equals to 5 d is equals to 3 an is equals to 50 find n and sn what we have to find we have to find n and sn and see students this question is very important and don't leave this question by solving one time you have to practice this question at least 3 to 4 times okay now see here in the first case we have given a is equals to 5 d is equals to 3 and an is equals to how much 50 so uh, to find n which formula we will use a n is equals to a plus n minus 1d so here a n we have given how much 50 so a 5 n minus 1 and d is given 3 so 50 minus 5 45 and n minus 1 into 3 is that okay so look here 45 divided by 3 that is how much 15 n minus 1 so n is equals to 16 so our n is how much n is 16 now to find sn it is very easy to find sn what we will do sn is equals to n by 2 then a plus a n why we have written here a n because a n is already given so 16 by 2 5 plus 50 that is how much 2 8 is 16 8 into 50 5 that is how much 440 is that okay now see the second question given a is equals to 7 here a 13 look very carefully a 13 is equals to 35 find d and s 13 so we know the property we have given here a 7 a 13 is equals to 35 now you see a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 d so a 13 a 13 will be what a plus 12 d so 35 is equals to 7 plus 12 d and 35 minus 7 is equals to 12 d and this is 35 minus 7 28 28 is equals to 12 d d is equals to 28 by 12 so Four seven zero twenty eight four three zero twelve. Our D is how much? Seven by three. Now you see here S N N by two A plus A N. So S N is given how much? Thirteen. N by two A plus A thirteen. So just you look. here s 13 n by 2 a plus a 13 so 13 by 2 7 plus 35 so 13 into 42 by 2 so 13 into 21 is equals to how much 273 okay now see here similarly you try the third question okay this two are same fourth you see given a 3 is equals to 15 s 10 is equals to 125 find d and a 10 Okay, three you try by yourself. Let us solve the fourth one. Here, a three is equals to fifteen. S ten is equals to one hundred twenty-five. Okay, now again we will use a n a plus n minus one d. So a three is equals to a plus two d. So fifteen is equals to a plus two d. That is given. Now you see s n n by two two a plus n minus one d. So s ten. 10 by 2, 2 a plus 10 minus 1 d. That is 9 d. So 125 is equals to 5. 2 a plus 9 d. So 25, 5, 25 j 125 is equals to 2 a plus 9 d. Now see. So we are having here two equations. So on multiplying equation 1 by 2, we obtain. Just you use the method which you have learned in linear equation in two variables okay so 30 is equals to 2a plus 4d and on subtracting equation 3 from 2 we obtain minus 5 is equals to 5d and d is equals to minus 1 so from equation 1 15 is equals to a plus how much a 2 2 into minus 1 minus 2 15 is equals to a minus 2 and a is equals to 15 plus 2 is equals to 17. So see, a 10 is equals to a plus 9d. So a 10 17 minus 9. So a 10 is equals to how much? 17 minus 9 that is how much? 8. Okay. Similarly, you try fifth part. Fifth part. Just you try here. Given d is equals to 5, s 9 is equals to 75. Find a and what? A 9. This you try by yourself. And if you will not be able to solve, then I will solve this fifth part. So tomorrow we will try to solve the 
फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन बट स्टूडेंट सी अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर यू प्रैक्टिस दिस एटलीस्ट फाइव फाइव टाइम्स इच क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन आर लिटिल बिट वाट complicated because as you are trying for the first time that's why you are finding it little bit difficult but when you practice it then that will not be that much difficult for you so till then stay safe stay happy and have a good day